Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is December 13th, 2023. I'm here for my Wordle and Quartle of the day and to wish a very happy birthday to my favorite actor of all time, Mr. Dick Van Dyke. And lately my son and I have been re-watching Diagnosis Murder, where Dick stars with his son Barry Van Dyke and, you know, Chachi and a whole bunch of other people. So I am going to use Dick Van Dyke as my inspiration, and I'm going to use the word smile today because he makes so many people smile through so much of his work, and he always has a ready smile. So happy 98th birthday, sir. And look at that. We got some good things happening there. We've got an S here, and we know there's an E in the word, or at least one E. We don't know where. Uh, let's look at some other letters that might appear here. We've got R, T, N. Those are common letters. We know that there's an E. Let's see. Uh, we haven't tried A. O or U as other vowels, or a Y. Uh, so it, I was going to say, so it could be story. Nope, because there's an E in it. So let's do this. Let's try um, something with maybe an EA or an EA. Doesn't that sound good? Uh, because that would be another place that E might show up. Oh, or an E-R. So what if we do something like toner? T-O-N-E-R. That would put the E in a different spot. Okay, still not the spot we need, but look, we got an N and a T. So let's back everything up and see if we can figure out what this is yet. We know there's a T, but we don't know where it is. It could be really anywhere except where that S is. We know there is, oh, I thought there was an O. We know there's an E, and it's going to be here and or here. We know there's an N, here, here, or here. So what if the T is here? And the E is here. Hmm. I isn't available. Steen, I don't think that's a word. Um. Stoon. No, I don't think so. I still have the feeling it's... We're on the right track with this, but... I don't see what it could be, Steph. I don't see it. I still, you know, you know how, you know, when there's something like on the tip of your tongue, I feel like that's probably it, and, and I'm not getting it. Uh, what if we put an E here and a T here? A tan. <sighs> I'm not getting it. S T E N T. What if it's stent? S T E N T. I think I want to try that. Because even if it's not that, the only thing I'm giving up is this S. I'm putting the T in two different spots, so that's going to tell me either it's here, or it's here, or it's in one of these two spots, so it'll really narrow it down. I'm trying the E in another spot. If it's not here, it has to be here. I'm trying the N in another spot. If it's not here, it has to be here or here, and we may have excluded some other things. I think this is a good one to try. Spent. S-P-E-N-T? Scent, S-C-E-N-T. Wow, it can be a lot, but we really narrowed things down, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, we're not going to get it done quickly, but we'll get it done. So let's see what it could be now. Uh, now we know there could be a C. 
there could be a P. Let's see what else could fit in there. No Q, no W, um, S, E, N, T. Make sure I can't reuse those, but of course I tried that already. A, D, F, G, H, J, K, Z, X, C, V, B. I'm going to go with scent. And if it's not sent, I'm going to go with spent, just because I'm not used to past tense verbs in Wordle. Oh, look, it is spent. So past tense words do work in Wordle. I mean, unless it's something else, and then it's going to take me six tries. Ah, oh, thankfully it was spent. Because <laughs> I was just about. Okay. There we go. That is that one done. That one took a long time, but guess what? I'm still smiling. I had a good example growing up. Sure, he was on TV and not in my household. Actually, you know, he was in my household once a day at least. I got to watch him in reruns. All right, so let's go ahead and jump to our quirtle of the day, and we've got Fishy Budge Clown Tramp. Uh, we have place here because the P can't go there, could go there, but the C can't go there. C has to go there. Yeah, it all works. We got it. Place. Uh, this one, golly, I'm wondering what this one could be. G could go here. O could go here. L could go here. L could go here. There we go. Uh, this one. Shite, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. How those things work. I think it's heist. H-E-I-S-T? I think so. And then what's this one? Melee. I think this is melee. M could go here, E could go here, L goes here, E could go here, E goes here. We wouldn't have to use any other letters. Let's try it. That is melee. And then that placed an E for me, so heist. H could go here, E goes here, I could go here, S could go here, T could go here. Let's see if we can prove it. It works. There we go. That is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.